Hi everyone, Jens Johansson here, founder of J2 Building Consultants, experts in providing solutions to building owners on how to repair and maintain their buildings. From the smallest to the tallest, we've spent the past 25 years understanding construction. Welcome to another free educational video series. In this video, I'm going to share with you the five D's of construction repair. Define, diagnose, design, develop, and dig in. As with all of our free educational videos, we've found that simply talking to you in our videos gets our point across a lot better than the glitzy flyovers and animation and, and you know, spotlights of, of fancy videos. So imagine me talking to you <clears throat> in your conference room or out on the sidewalk in front of your building. This is going to be the same, same format. So let's get started. The first D is define. Define the problem. Why, why did you feel the need to have to call us uh, for your building? What was going on? And an example of that would be, we're experiencing water leaks on the floor. It's kind of under a window, but we know there's a deck or a patio or, a, or a, uh, some type of interface there at the floor line too. And hey, we're on the top floor. There's a roof not too far away. There's plenty of things going on and we don't exactly know what is, what is contributing to this. We'd like to call the window manufacturer, the roof manufacturer, the deck manufacturer, the railing manufacturer. There's all sorts of things happening in that interface there, but we really don't know who to call. So let's start with a consultant first, somebody that can come in, do some testing, do some diagnosis based upon their experience. Maybe they have to do a few little openings but they can tell us what is happening. So, define the problem. The second piece is diagnose the extent of that. Is it just this one leak on the south wall? Or is this now happening on all elevations of the building? Perhaps your community or your, your project is built in phases. We had, a, we had a project with three different phases, all built by different contractors, different developers. So, if phase one has problems, should we go into phase two and phase three and double check those? So that could be an example of diagnosing the extent. Then design the fix. Is this a targeted repair or is this a complete repair? Did, after our investigation, did we realize, wow, that's the only spot showing it on the inside, but look at all our openings that we've done. It's really happening everywhere and it's only a matter of time before it gets into the inside. So. Designing the fix talks about <clears throat> a, a targeted repair approach or a complete strip and reclad and start over. The next D, develop the plan. So now that we have a scope of repair put together, we need to find a contractor to fix it. Are we going to put it out to bid to multiple contractors? Are we going to work with a contractor to negotiate the fix? Are we going to go back to that particular installer that perhaps messed it up in the first place and say, hey, under warranty, you need to fix this. Um, perhaps, you know, I, I put in new or old. If this is a brand new, brand new building that leaks, hey, wait a minute, there's, there's construction defect issues. Perhaps we should talk to our attorney. If this is an old building or perhaps it's after a storm or some kind of natural disaster, maybe we should call our insurance company to see if there's insurance coverage on this. All those pieces will then kind of go back into the design a little bit and maybe, maybe change a few things, but we need to go through that step to uh, get on to construction. And that's the final step, dig in. Let's get into that work, let's, let's get going with the work, let's monitor the work, let's make sure it's done correctly, let's make sure the problems are fixed and uh, that it's put together quickly and effectively. So, if you would like help with your five Ds of the construction repair process, please give us a call and contact us and we'd be happy to help. Thanks.